about the boys from Carmenville who almost went to jail. It happened on a November's night when all the hands was asleep. We put the over Joe Tosser and we stole that heart. Now if you pay attention, I know what they you like. We never went to steal the sheep, we went to steal the cab. The old cat, she got angry because we woke her from her sleep. We couldn't take any chances, so we had to steal the sheep. We got the woolly animal and we dragged her from her bed. She said goodbye to little lamb she never would see again. She knew that those dark strangers soon would take her life. In less than half an hour, she felt the dreadful. She got angry when she heard about the laws Said she'd catch the robbers no matter what the cause Next morning just at sunrise she to the office went And to the RCMP a telegram she sent The Mountie got the message and he started in to me This is from Aunt Martha telling an awful deed Last night my sheep was stolen, but whom I cannot tell. I'd like for you to catch them and drag them back to jail. Now just a short time later, about 12 o'clock that night, we had the sheep a cooking and everyone feeling tight. The smell of mutton and onions, no man could ask for more. We were chugged along in the minion when the mountain walked in the door. your party, I really don't want to break. I smelled the meat of cooking and I had to come in and check. You see, a sheep was stolen and a team was on the loose. Said, come right in and join us, sir, we're having a piece of us. Said, thanks a lot, and he sat right down and we gave him a piece of the sheep. Now, this is the finest piece of moose I'm sure I ever did eat. At two o'clock in the morning, he bid us all good day. We get an acre for the sheep, sir, we phone you right away. Said, thanks a lot, you're a darn fine, but you promise I know you'll be. If everyone was as good as you, she wouldn't have lost her sheep. After he left, we hadn't a piece, we left the oven to roast. We might have stole the sheep, boys, but the mound he ate the most. And that's Ann Martyr Sheep, one from Dick Nolan. Oh, wow. And of course, Mr. Ellis Cole is the man who wrote it. And somebody wanted that one? One second, I'm in, and later we'll read it for you. That was from Florence Oak and Victor. Down in Western Bay, Julie Oates, Moiny Rose, Lorraine Lynch, Daisy Mercer, Mabel Spurl, and Sadie Slade. And then we're going to do The Girl in the Tavern. And this one is for Jim and Shirley Parsons, Dan and Jenny Mahoney, Joan Sims up in Georgetown, David and Glenda Williams, George and Phyllis Mercer, Art and Joan Thomas, Peg Pye, and Hem and Lil Crocker. That's the man who'll come back from the dead. Hen Crocker, right? Yes. Last night, as I sat in a tavern and drank while the wine flowed so free, a girl came and stood in the doorway. She was a picture of beauty to see. Her face was an image from heaven. Her eyes shone like stars up above. And I could tell by the way she was smiling that her heart was made of Yeah. 
thank you for cancer just the same. I guess he is out with another, and it looks like he's cheated again. I see her and stepped out of the doorway. Then I thought, what a learned a great lesson so I drank up and then went straight home for I love the girl that I marry and the from her I never was home and from her Now we're going to do one about the polar bear. And this was a very popular song when it came out back in 91. And he was, Ellis was singing about the, the strike then when the nurses were on strike. And they were on, on the war pad with, with the fisherman's full. They were on the war path with, with the, the hospital board with Mr. Wells. Right. He did the polar yeah. bear song. It was all about a polar bear, was it? <laughs> well, they were paying too much attention, <laughs> in Ellis's opinion anyway, to the to the polar bear, right? Well, the budget's down for '91, and they sure would turn your guts. Now the only word they understand is cuts, cuts, and more cuts. And since that word they understand, it's not that they don't care. They just need that extra money for to save the polar bear. Now that old northern nuisance known as the polar bear. He comes up from the Arctic on the drift ice every year. Just because his fur is white, they want to set him free. But if his fur was brown or black, they would shoot the SOB. So we won't be voting for your clay come next selection year. You should be out there saving beds instead of saving beers. With everybody out of work, why do you think it's fair? That you cut out 2,000 jobs and waste money on the polar bear. Old man in Petty Harbor had some piece up just right. As he sat down on his chopping block, a swigging on his pipe. When he seen that chopper with the bear a flying overhead. So there goes the liberal government with another hospital bed. Now think about young Tommy when his dad got home that night. Said, son, I lost my job today. Now you may not get that bike. Had a story sad, but I'm glad to say it's not everyone that pays. Plus the polar bear, he got a ride, and Clyde, he got a raise. So we won't be voting for you, Clyde, come next selection year. You should be out there saving beds instead of saving beers. With everybody out of work, why do you think it's fair that you cut out 2,000 jobs and waste money on the polar bear? Young Billy said, now, Mommy, polar bears are nice. Their feet are soft and warm, while mine are like two lumps of ice. No money for more heating fuel for heartbreaks inside. The only one who gets a raise these days, it seems, is Clyde. Now 
of them old northern polar bears, they got things down firsthand. They get together every spring and they come to Newfoundland. They don't think the Clyde light, they don't think he's slack. They only know when it's time to go, that Clyde will fly them back. So we won't be voting for you, Clyde, come next election year. You should be out there saving beds instead of saving beers. With everybody out of work, Clyde, do you think it's fair? Daddy, you cut out 2,000 jobs and waste money on the polar bear. Daddy, you cut out 2,000 jobs and waste money on the polar bear. Now, Alice was getting a few digs, said Mr. Wells, dear woman. Alice Cole, yeah, and that's another one of Alice's songs. Yeah. Now, right on the Newfoundland. Now, Dick Nolan's on. This time. Now. And this one is Fisherman's Boy, you know, and this is. Uh, Real, real genuine Newfoundland song. It's for Don and Vera Smith, John and Liz Peters, Ryan Burton, them Sam Cove, George and Ruby Garland, Fred Williams and Lena Cloth, and Anastasia Fury. I dreamed as a young man that a fisherman I would welcome my father home from the sea With his hand on my shoulder and a wink in his eye Son, always be proud you're a fisherman's boy My father was a good man and proud of his trade But the love for his children, no money could buy. I'll always be proud I'm a fisherman's boy. The capelin would come and the herring would go. The squid in the harbor would go in the cold. No corned beef or salt pork, no white bread or rice. Yet I'll always be proud I'm a fisherman's boy. The winters were long and the living was rough. Salt fish and dough rings, there wasn't enough. He would look at the children with a tear in his eye. And always be proud I'm a fisherman's boy. The fishing, it ended in the year 44. This hardship and trouble, his worries no more. If he could return and, and see what I've done, I'm sure he'd be proud of his fisherman son. The years have gone by now, and times they have changed. To turn back the pages, there's nothing to gain. But the words I'll remember till the day that I'll die. Son, always be proud you're a fisherman's boy. You doctors, you lawyers, you teachers, you can. Seek out your future across this great land. 
But wherever you go, lad, just hold your head high. And always be proud you're a fisherman's boy. And always be proud you're a fisherman's boy. Now we're going to do one from Newfoundland's own Roy Payne. And this one was people who walked on the roads years ago when the, everything would be black with snow and the fences covered up and everything else. You'd see where a scattered person had a leaf when you'd be walking along on a path. And he calls this song, Yellow Piss Holes in the Snow. I grew up on stories my grandfather told The sound of that old rocking chair The smell of the fire from that wood burning stove My first taste of blue ribbon beer the northern lights dancing way up in the sky The castles I build in the snow It's hard to believe that old memories run Way back to a long time ago Now Charlie Butt's corner store burned to the ground I can still hear them bottles explode I'm married Feeney and I ran away I was jealous of her, I suppose Hop along Cassidy Saturday night Would find me right in the front row Ten cents a shot Compliments off bribery Just traveling show Paint me a pay Memory that backtracked a long time ago and followed these lines from this pencil of mine and them yellow piss holes in the snow. The fish they were plenty to many to count, the waters as blue as the sky. I steered my first rabbit when I was 11 And after I ate it I cried People was funny but no one was queer And me I was a son of a gun Kids way back then were all devil skins Oh but nobody killed anyone Paint me picture of old memory that backtracked a long time ago and follow these lines from this pencil of mine and them yellow piss holes in the snow and them yellow piss holes in the snow and now we're going to do Johnny's water bait and this one is one from her bishop. A Newfoundland. But a Newfoundlander. I haven't heard too much Never from her bishop lately. I don't know if he's still at it or not. Yeah, he Anyway, is. it's with John and Louise Penny, Clayton Reed, Warwick and Sandy Reynolds, Alfred and Berta Cooper, over an old shop, Gene Beckham and Harbour Grace, Garfield Butt. Louise Butt, Yvonne Shepherd, and Ray and Barb McDonald. Now Johnny Brown is a friend of mine. He lives just down the road. Gotta hear about the trip he made when he went up to the old. Went up to see his little girl, for she had just been with. And he put him down in the basement in the big old water bed. He 
said goodnight, turned out the lights and crawled into the sack. But he twisted round and he almost drowned when everything went black. His knees right up and climbing out, you could hear him overhead. My boat was rough, but not as rough as this old waterbed. Gee whiz, I'm back in Newfie, fishing with the boys. The bed keeps rolling back and forth every time I close my eyes. I can even hear the landmarks around the old stage head. I think I'm going to feel at home in this old water bed. I can see a suit of rubber clothes hanging on the wall. Right next to my old cable and saying, honey lines of trawl. The hand lines and the jigger that I made myself from lead. Lord thundering boys, I see them all from this old water bed. I can have me cottonettes overboard outside the 401. And a million cars turn into turs as I think about me gone. The bright lights on the CN Tower shining through the smog. Is the lighthouse down on Easter Head in the early morning fog? Gee whiz, I'm back in Newfie, fishing with the boys. The bed keeps rolling back and forth every time I close my eyes. I can even hear the landmarks around the old stage hill. I think I'm going to feel at home in this old water bed. Next morning they went down to see how Uncle John had slept. The bedroom door was open and the floor was soaking wet. He was swinging from the bedpost with a pillow for a can. He was throwing water everywhere, headed back to Newfoundland. His long johns was his rubber clothes, painted black and red. The lampshade was his old sou'wester pulled down over his head. With a great big fan of blowing wind into a bedsheet sail, he was yelling out, boys help me out, I'm coming home again. Gee whiz, I'm back in Newfie, fishing with the boys. The bed keeps rolling back and forth every time I close my eyes. I can even hear the landmarks around the old stage head. I think I'm going to feel at home in this old water bed. I think I'm going to feel at home in this old water bed. And that's Johnny's water bed. And now we're going to do one from... This one comes from Nicholas Piddle down in Bristol's Hope. And we've still got a, a few of Nicholas Piddle's relations around Bristol's Hope. we got one down in Salmon Cove, like one it. down in Carboneri. This is down in Carboneri. But this is uh, one of the many songs that he wrote. and, and uh, We're going to try to do something with it. And this one is for Joan Sims, Gordon and Ida Skinner, Hazel Barrett and Whitburn, Bill and Mildred Gilfoy, George and Lily and Homer, George and Ruby Garland, John and Jocelyn Rowe, and I was going to say Bill Coyle, but oh, Bill is gone. So here we go, you know. Most scenes of my childhood, why do you? Still haunt me. Should not die an arrow so close to my heart. Why should I now mourn for days that are gone by? Or grieve for those pleasures that none. But still, in my dreams, I imagine the beauty that nature sublime 
in such measures did fill when the sun rays shone forth on the dazzling rivulets that coursed down the slopes of Deer Saddle Hill as I gazed on those scenes all their grandeur inhaling my young glowing heart it leaped forth with a will while the bleating of lambkins resound to the valley encircling the borders of a saddle hill to stand summit while sunbeams adoring those crags that by nature crop out old and plain and breathe the pure air that sweeps past in summer that's wafted so coolly from grand It's dear that the landscape, its beauties unfolding, reflects back its shadow for valley and rill. While the thrush chants its lays in melodious sweetness, add luster superior to old. Saddle Hill Unchanged There it lies Reflungent In beauty And catches The faint ray Of each past Waning moon Absorbing The dew On its thinly Clad foliage While lily and daisies shoot forward in full bloom to think of the past when it lay there so lonely buffeting the tempest as long long ago on trod save by desian prowling Ancient birds, they may sing of their own dells on their mountain, and echo sweet strains over valley and rill. But to me, all is lost in true adoration of thy beauty. Grandeur, dear old Saddle Hill. And of course, this a place is, I guess, partly owned by Garvin here and partly owned by Mrs. Sofa. But they're starting to grow over with woods now, you know. One time there was many of them only rocks. And bit by bit, they're starting to grow over. Oh, this is a wonderful song. This one is a pretty true song. This is another one from Ellis Cole. A song about beans. I don't think we ever done this one on the show. We're getting a scattered request for old stuff, you know. And of course, we got it done. I'll sing you a song about beans. Everyone loves them, it seems. Everyone knows that they're good for the heart. Big mug of tea, fresh bread past me fire. One let the gas come between. Me and me big feet of beans. Now everyone wondering why. This talk between Charlie and I. Well, I'll tell you now, he ain't got a chance. Whenever he gets in the mood for romance. She says, Charles, 
I don't want to be mean. But not tonight, dear, I just see the big feet of bean. Oh, does not eat as royal as bean. Everyone loves them, it seems. Everyone knows that they're good for the heart. Big mug of tea, fresh bread past me far. One let the gas come between me and me big feet of bean. Now the government sure raised some hell when they tried to ram through a bill. The opposition said, you know what I think? There's something rotten with this bill, it stinks. The premier said I got to come clean. For breakfast I had me a big feed of beans. Or they should pass a law against beans. Everyone loves them, it seems. Everyone knows that they're good for the heart. Big mug of tea, fresh bread past me far. One let the gas come between. I gets enough fiber from beans to make me a shirt and some jeans. The more that I get, the more that I want. I eat two pounds a day and I licks out the pot. Who cares if I can't keep me friends? Who needs them when I'm eating me big feet of beans? Oh, does not eat sticks to you like beans? Everyone loves them, it seems. Everyone knows that they're good for the heart. Big mug of tea, fresh bread past me far. One let the gas come between me and me big feet of bean. One let the gas come between me and me big feet of bean. Songs. Yeah, that's one from Ellis Cole. Now, what do you got for us, honey? Yeah, I got a little poem here, and it goes like this. I send this out to my mom and Hetty Cooney and uh, Marg Woodford. Down in, uh, up in Holy Road. And it goes like this. If you sit down at the set of sun and count the acts that you have done, and counting fine oneself, denying thee them word, then ease the heart of him who heard one glance most kind. The fell like sunshine where it went. You may count the days well spent. I got another little one there. Uh, let me find this one now. It's called The Last Rose of Summer. Tis the last rose of summer left blooming alone. All her lonely companies are founded and gone. No flower of her kindred, no rose but is high. To reflect black her back her blushes or give her sight for sight. I not leave thee, thou lone one, to pine on the stem, since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep with them. Thus kindly I scattered the leaves o'er the bed, where the mates of the garden lie scented and dead. That's the one. You were talking, you know, on the last show about Bill Coyley, and they, Bill. Bill Coyley spent a bit of time there in Bristol Soap, of course, over the years. He was married to a girl from Bristol Soap, married to a, a butler from Bristol Soap. And he was a wonderful, wonderful man, you know. I don't think I ever seen Bill Coyley that he never had a smile on his face. A very, very happy-go-lucky fella, you know. And I guess the, the girls were a lot like him. Right. But, you know, pretty... Pretty happy go lucky. Yeah. Now we're going to do one entitled Give Me Your Hand, and this one is for Dan and Doris Russell, Jim and Mabel Parsons, Playman and Violet Clark, William Mills, Mary Babb, Jim and June Osley, Ambrose and Flo Muckford, and for Millie George. For all the homes in the area? And for all the homes in the area and the, the hospital in Carboneer and the hospital down in Old Furley. This one is Give Me Your Hand. As an army we're marching toward heaven, so it's best that together we stand. We may not have the 
same rank or title. But we're soldiers, so give me your hand. Oh, I care not what church you belong to. Just as long as for God you to stand. But if your heart today is as my heart, you're my brother, so give me your hand. may not come to our great cathedral, but belong to some small praying band. But if you love my Christ, the Redeemer, you're a Christian, so give me your hand. We are bound for that beautiful city, where before the white throne we shall stand. And we'll be as one there together. Hallelujah, so give me your hand. Oh, I care not what church you belong to. Just as long as for God you do stand. If your heart today is as my heart, you're my brother, so give me you're my brother, so give me your hand. Now, before we get out of here, I guess we got a few little messages as usual. I'd like to remind everybody again about the blast from the past. That comes on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. The card game at the Knights of Columbus and Carbonier, that's Thursday nights at 8 p.m. They got a first, second, and third prize and the door prize. And the card game at St. James's Hall and Carbonier on Monday nights and that starts at 8 p.m. and they got a first, second, and third prize and a door prize. Both these card games are wonderful card games and the crowd seems to be getting bigger there all the time. And our friend Hebrew McCork's book, Memories of a Former Era, From Carboneer to Battle Harbor to Frenchman's Island, written by Hebrew McCork. It costs $17.95 and they got 166 wonderful pages of stories and pictures about the Labrador. So we're going to travel on there and get out of here? Yes, that's right. I stayed around and played around this old town too long. Summer's almost gone, yeah, winter's coming on. I stayed around and played around this old town too long. He's been on the chain gang too long. I stayed around and stayed around this old town too long. Summer's almost gone, yeah, winter's coming on. I stayed around and played around this old town too long. And I feel like I gotta travel on. And I feel like I gotta travel on. Tonight, Mary Maloney, Julie Oates, Miney Rose, Joe Harrington, Gordon Burns, Graham Drove, Reverend King, Hetty Tarrant, Bessie Andrews, Ella Morrissey, Tommy Keynes, Minnie Worm, Stell Tarrant, Ted Allison, Millie George, Jonathan Dahl. Good night, Jonathan Dahl. Peter Griffin, Gladys Sully, Carmen George, Ryan Burton, Jean Thomas, Ashley Dawsley, Kurt Yetman, Catherine Crawford, Harrison Peddle, Effie Hobbs, Chloe Harris, Mildred Killaway, Ray and Barb McDonald, Florence Earl, Lucas Murray, Vicki Mercer, Joshua McCann, Laura Williams, Amanda Butt, Ricky Waltz, Jack Rollins, Ambrose and Flo Mufford, Caroline Budden, Georgina Williams, Chloe O'Brien, Amanda Budd, Julian Osley, Victoria Hunt, Meadows Pottister, and Addison Whalen. And good night, everyone. Good night, folks.